True Grit is the new film by the Cohen brothers. That's Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen. These are the guys who brought us such films as uh, Miller's Crossing, Blood Simple, The Hudsucker Proxy, The Big Lebowski, Fargo, No Country for Old Men. Um, basically, a, a slew of absolutely brilliant films. And this is their latest. It's um, basically a, a, a good old fashioned western um, starring Jeff Bridges as uh, Rooster Cogburn. Now, this is um, a, a remake of a film from 1969 of the same title starring John Wayne um, and I thought it was interesting to see the Coen brothers doing a remake so um, I, I was very interested to see you know what they would do on it um, with the material already have been put to screen so um, it stars uh, Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, um, a girl called Hayley Steinfeld and Josh Brolin and um, I've got to say I was blown away by this movie so watching the trailer for this film, it kind of paints it as the uh, the, the kind of new Coen brothers, the, the no country Coen brothers, the kind of philosophical, uh, meditating Coen brothers, and I, I was really looking forward to it based on, on that trailer. Um, I got into the film and it turns out that it's actually kind of the old Coen brothers from like the, the early to mid 90s where um, they, they made some of their best films. Now I, I think the film I would um, m most compare this to um, from their back catalogue would be Miller's Crossing um, and I'll explain why but it's basically when I was watching it I thought yes this is good old-fashioned Coen Brothers it's got the larger-than-life characters the meticulously written dialogue um, it's funny now I was surprised at this it is really funny there are laugh-out-loud moments peppered throughout this film that had the whole audience laughing not just me like a weirdo you know everybody was laughing at these moments um, and then it's punctuated with the odd scene of ultra-violence and I mean ultra-violence um, and it's just a Return to what they did best in the 90s and I was completely kind of floored by it. Now, um, I, it wasn't what I was expecting. As I said, I expected it to be more slow burning kind of um, no country type movie and I, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love No Country. That's one of my favourite Coen Brothers film and I, I think that my favourite Coen Brothers film would have to be The Big Lebowski, closely followed by No Country. Uh, but, but this film, it, it is a return to um, that kind of style. Um, now, the the trailer, as I say, doesn't quite do it justice, although it does, you know, it is a, a fantastic trailer. Um, but yeah, th this film is so much different than what you'd expect. Everybody's kind of talking about uh, Jeff Bridges' uh, performance as Rooster, um, the US Marshal. Now, basically, the plot is about Haley Steinfeld. Um, her father's uh, murdered by Josh Brolin's character, and she hires um, Jeff Bridges to go out into kind of the wilderness and, and track him down and bring him to justice. So it's a basic kind of revenge film, um, and as I say, it's a remake of a John Wayne movie from um, like 40 odd years ago. And um, I have to say that Jeff Bridges is absolutely fantastic fantastic in it and I was um, you know pleasantly surprised by just how he played the character like he doesn't play it completely straight he does ham it up to like the nth degree at times and it very much brings back that kind of um, I'd like to say the dude in, in Jeff Bridges he, he's back to having fun on, on screen and I, I really dug his performance he, he, he can you know obviously it's Jeff Bridges is a fantastic actor so he brings the pathos and the um, the gravitas to the role but also has a really kind of cheeky wink to the camera you know it's um, he's not playing it completely straight and I, I think it really suited the overall kind of quirky tone of the film because the Coen brothers are known for that kind of offbeat quirky sense of humour um, like uh, for for example, a scene where Hayley Steinfeld has to spend the night sleeping in a coffin. And I find that funny, and um, it is, they've brought back that really dark sense of humour, which um, was present in um, A Serious Man, but I wasn't over keen on that movie. Um, but this is very much their return to form for me. The standout performance of the film is um, Hayley Steinfeld, as um, Matty Ross, I believe her name is. Um, now, she's absolutely fantastic in it. She's playing a 14-year-old. Now, I don't know how old she is in, in real life, but she doesn't look much older than that. Um, and she really brings that kind of... Um, 
childlike naivety, but, you know, kind of human vulnerability to the role, but also a really strong presence. Like, she's referred to in the film as a very hot, headstrong um, young woman, and she really is. She's without a doubt, she gives the best performance in the film, there is no doubt about it. This really is her movie. Um, she really should be billed above Jeff Bridges' name on the poster. It, it's her film. It, it, she owns every scene. She's in almost every scene, and she, she carries the movie along. And for such kind of a an inexperienced young actress to do that successfully is really surprising. I mean, I was kind of blown away by her performance. Um, it, she's um, she's just she's perfect in the film. There's there's no two ways about it. She approaches the character in such an, an organic way that you believe you're watching this character unfold on this journey. And it, it, I completely bought her performance the whole way. And as I can't understand why she's been nominated for best supporting actress at, at this year's Oscars. It, that makes no sense. She's in every scene. She's the only actress in the movie, really. You know, like, who else is going to be the best supporting actress in that film? No one. She's the lead. You know, she's the lead performance of the film. She should have been nominated for best actress. But anyway, that's besides the point because the Oscars are becoming less and less relevant. But yeah, her performance in it is fantastic. Also got to give props to um, Matt Damon and, and Josh Brolin. Um, now, Matt Damon plays a Texas Ranger who's kind of along for the ride. He's been tracking Josh Brolin's character as well. And um, he plays the role ton tongue-in-cheek again. Um, him and Jeff Bridges have a chemistry that really develops some of the biggest laughs of the film. Um, and he doesn't play it straight either, it's kind of, all the actors are kind of hamming it up and where you think the characters could have been really cliched, he could have been a cardboard cut out, yeah, I'm a Texas Ranger, you know, he, he really makes it, he has fun with the role, so I thought Matt Damon was actually surprisingly really good in this. I mean, he's constantly good in anything he's in, but I really enjoyed what he did with the character and the same goes for Josh Brolin, who, rather than playing, you know, the stone-faced killer who you kind of expect to meet, when you meet him he's kind of like, a drunk and he doesn't really know what he's doing and you know it, it, I, I just he, he feels like he's making it up as he goes along and he's kind of panicky I like that I, I like that character um, so all the actors in this they're consistently brilliant they really are the film looks beautiful, it's shot by Roger Deakins, who's worked with the Coen brothers for God knows how many years. Shot on film, very classically put together. The opening shot is absolutely beautiful. The, the film remains beautiful, all the way from the opening to the kind of majestic ending. It's fantastic, it's quintessential classic filmmaking, and it's refreshing in a day and age of CGI explosions and shit, to, for a film to come along like this and just say, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it really does um, succeed at that. It's nothing short of a masterpiece. So True Grit really is a masterpiece. I really do feel that way. And it's a return to the kind of Coen Brothers movies of the early to mid-90s. And the Coen Brothers that I fell in love with, I thoroughly recommend it to um, anybody who's kind of sick of the big Hollywood blockbusters. Go and see True Grit because you will not regret it. It's one of the best films of 2010. It immediately made my list, a, a list which I'll do in a video very shortly. Um, and it's uh, amazing. Jeff Bridges, Hayley Steinfeld, Steinfeld. Um, she's very brilliant in it. They, they both are. Um, I, I can't recommend it enough. Five stars from me. Go and see True Grit.